five days out. This is some real shit, man. But if I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like shit. I missed, missed legs last night. First workout I've missed this whole prep. Um, just fell asleep. And it's like 6.30 in the morning now. <laughs> and first thing I'm going to do is go and do this fucking leg session. So it's probably, it's going to be the second to last leg session of the, of the prep. I don't need to care about separations on my quads because I'm wearing shorts. Um, so yeah, this is second to last leg session. So there ain't really nothing but to do but to go and do it. Let's go hard. I'll get some footage, show you guys what I'm looking like, what my legs are looking like at five days out from the NZIFBB Wellington Champs. And I'll be competing in Men's Physique, Novice, Men's Physique Open, and if there's enough classes, enough competitors, I'll be in Tall Class C, which is 180 plus. So that is the plan, guys. We're five weeks out, five days out, and um, I need some caffeine, that's for sure. Well, come on, man. See ya. Oh, my God. Whoa, your light. It's leg day, alright? It's leg day. <laughs> oh man. Tell you what, it's getting to the point where, I mean, shit, I've got five days left of this one, and then I've got another three weeks on top of that, so I'm grinding hard, but it's not as hard as it's going to get, put it that way, but it is still hard. I mean, I said the other morning that I got up, had a big coffee, and then went straight back to sleep just through lack of energy, lack of food. And it actually happened the other, the, the day after that as well. Um, so this morning, I'm not going to have coffee because I think I'm getting immune to it, the amount of coffee I'm having. Um, and what I'm going to do is have some amino energy, three scoops, 150 milligrams caffeine, and uh, I think that should be enough. And no food. I'm going to go train fasted or else I'll never do it. So I will see you guys in the gym. And it's the All Blacks match today. All Blacks first game, Argentina. And fuck me, Japan bet South Africa last night. What an awesome result. I was stoked for the Japanese. Like, that is, that's just an amazing result for world rugby. And in like one of the first matches of the World Cup too, so absolutely stoked for them. Um, the All Blacks have actually played. I had thoughts of getting up at 3.45, but it's 7 o'clock now and I'm hoping that... I'm pretty sure a replay started at 6, so if I get to the gym in 20 minutes, the replay would have finished. And I think they're about to show another one straight after it, so... I'm not going to check Facebook because I don't want to know the result. But I tell you what, the All Blacks better have fucking won, or <laughs> else there'll be trouble. Must be early, because this car park's usually chocker. But uh, it's actually not too bad this morning. Well, in the shade it is, but in the sun, the weather's alright. So I decided to walk down to the gym. It's funny, you know, I, wa I probably watch like an hour and a half of YouTube per day. And some of you guys might think that's heaps, but I mean, most people watch that on TV per day, don't you? But I don't usually watch TV, I just watch YouTube because it's what I'm interested in. So, um, yeah, fuck, I've just seen someone looking at me. <laughs> Still get embarrassed. Either way, um, so I, what I've been doing lately is to make my cardio go a lot faster and a lot easier as I save my YouTube videos I want to watch until I get to the uh, gym so then I 
have something to watch because if you try and do an hour's cardio with nothing to watch or nothing to listen to, you're fucked. <laughs> but uh, the uh, Mr. Olympia was on this weekend and I actually haven't seen the, the finals, although I do know who won and that was Phil Heath, won his fifth consecutive Mr. Olympia title in the men's physique, which I like also. Um, I think Jeremy Bundia once again won it because of politics, because if you're in that first position, if you won it last year, you're going to need someone to come in very, very e e exceptional to knock you off your place. And that did happen. I mean, Sadiq, I think, should have won it. I did follow his journey to the stage um, through GAT, his sponsorship. Uh, and I guess I'm a bit biased, but I do believe he should have won. But either way, I'm outside the gym now, as you can see, we've got a big leg session to go. And uh, let's get into it. All right guys, quick voice over here. No new microphone yet, apologies for that, but basically this video is just gonna show you the final set of each of the three exercises I did in this workout. Killer workout. I just wanna really emphasize time under tension, and um, you guys are gonna see that in this, uh, this little video here. If you are interested in the full leg workout, I'm planning on bringing it out next episode with a full voiceover explaining what I do and why I do it and what I want to achieve. But basically this is how I train guys, nothing too heavy, nothing stupid, 100 kgs is more than enough. And as you can see, nice and slow, really feeling the burn. So I'm pretty sure I come back onto the screen at around about 10 minutes into the video, so if you want to skip to that, please do. But uh, if you want to see how I train legs, um, keep watching. Cheers.
That's how to train legs five days out. Squats. Seated leg press. Leg extension. And if I really feel like punishing myself when I leave here, I'll go grab a barbell, chuck it on my back, and do sets of uh, walking lunges. But I really can't see myself doing that now. My legs fucking screw. All the definitions gone, but it pumps, that's for sure. So, fuck. Woo! That's it. On to cardio.